Howdy partner, McIntyre here. You won't believe where I'm sitting. I'm on top of Emory Peak, the highest point in Big Bend National Forest. I'm just going to be quiet and give you a 360 degree view of where I'm sitting. part of the peak where Brett just climbed. <laughs> it's breathtaking, isn't it? Wind's blowing up here. It's a real rock scramble to get here. It's about all I could do. But it's well worth it. Brett had some questions about my rig. He want to know how I sleep in this thing. What we have right here is the insulated hammock sock, insulated with insulin. See, Brent. This, it, now this is the this is the side entry exit portal, the seat, mm -hmm. 66 inches long. And if you just let go of it, you see it just closes right up. And I have a whoopee sling as an adjustable ridge line, and I got it set kind of low. I like to leave it kind of low. All right, but inside, see, you, once you toss that over, you can get in easy, and then you just flip this over you, and you're all set. All right, so inside I have this the head end up here. I have my little pillow and my spear top blanket, and then underneath I got my frog sack, and and you can see the Insultex is the bottom and the sides are insulated with Insultex. And the top is just plain nylon. So here you can see the Insultex beginning again on this side over here. So that's it. Last night down to 38 degrees, I was toasty. What do you think, Brent? I like that. Here, you hold this movie camera and I'll get in it and see how it works. Anybody ever got in this thing since I hung it? I don't think so. Then you just slip your dirty boots off. They gotta be looser. In you go. See there? Right down on top. Now what I do is I reach in here and I position that frog sack just right the whole length. Howdy partner. There's a chance of rain they say. It's all clouded up here in Big Bend National Park. So I thought I'd rig up my spear winter tarp in a unique way since I got this against the rock hang. So I'd be prepared. Here it is. Spear winter tarp is the lightest tarp I got. I got a porch rig here, nice and high, right up against the rock. You can see I had to use rocks instead of stakes. They're pretty handy. Hope nobody trips over this one. So it'll block a little wind, but mainly if it rains, I'm not going to get wet. 
And I can just, as you can see, I can just walk right under here. I might even hang my hat on this little pine tree. It's a good rig, eh? These guys say I snore. I don't think so. I hear it too. It can't be me. So as a result, they hang a long, far away away. Yeah, I felt that raindrop. This is a good rig you got here. Nice hang here right on this campsite. This is your Eno Double, right? And what's your rain tarp? Oh yeah, homemade with wonderful binding, little quarter inch bindings on the edges. Good stuff. We'll come back and look at it when you get it done. I guess, I guess Brett and, I don't know, does Brett snore? Brett and Joel think they can sleep near each other, so they're all about a quarter mile from me. And this is a Clark rig, right? The tarp and everything? Inside here we'll probably find a Clark hammock with a rag mountain underquilt. It's raining. I got my tarp up. So, nice sight here, Brett. Thank you.